I'm using Affinity Photo 2.3. This is a quick video about how masks work with selections. Let's say for demonstration purposes that I want to add a brightness and contrast adjustment to help the Kingfisher stand out a bit more from the background. Normally, I would add the adjustment, apply an empty mask to it, and then take a white paintbrush and paint over the Kingfisher so the adjustment only affects it and not the background. But there's a slightly different way I can go about it. First, I'll add a brightness and contrast adjustment. But before applying a mask, I'll make a selection of the Kingfisher. Using the selection brush, I'll paint over the bird to select it. It's selected, so now, instead of applying an empty mask like I normally would, I'll apply a mask to the brightness and contrast adjustment. Let's take a closer look at the mask. I'll expand the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Right clicking on the mask or holding down control and clicking on it, I'll select edit mask from the pop-up menu. As you can see, the selected area has been painted white and the unselected area has been painted black. That's what happens when you apply a mask when there's an act of selection. Selected areas are automatically painted white and unselected areas are painted black. An empty mask, however, will still paint everything black regardless of whether there's an act of selection or not. I'll delete the brightness and contrast adjustment. There's yet one more way to do the same thing. This time, I'll make a selection of the bird before adding the brightness and contrast adjustment. The bird is already selected, so I'll just go ahead and add a new brightness and contrast adjustment. Notice that the brightness and contrast adjustment has two thumbnails. The second thumbnail is actually a mask that Affinity Photo has automatically created. I can't move it or copy it or delete it, but it did save me some trouble. When there's an act of selection, any adjustment or live filter you add will have a mask automatically applied to it by Affinity Photo. Let's have a look at the mask. Right clicking on the mask thumbnail or holding down the control key and clicking on it, I'll select edit adjustment from the pop-up menu. Same as before, the selected area is painted white and the unselected area is painted black. I'll click on the background image layer to see the photo again. I'll clear the selection by pressing Command D or Control D in Windows. I can paint on this just like I would with a regular mask. First I'll increase the brightness so you can see better. OK, if I take a black brush I can remove the brightness and contrast adjustments effect wherever I paint and I can use a white brush to paint it in. One last thing. You can use a selection to help paint more accurately on a mask. I'll select the nutshell the bird is perched upon. Now when I paint over the nutshell with a white brush, the selection constrains the brush strokes. Knowing how masks work with selections may save you some work. Thank you for watching.